me body of body fashion again today i want to show you how to do your front bodice block okay in my last video i showed you how to do the back bodice block and i even gave you a recap of the old making of the bodice block the back bodice block pattern okay so now we'll be starting the front bodice block but before i do that i want to like tell you to like subscribe turn on your notification like the video okay give us a thumbs up okay so let's get started so for the front bodice block the hip line the waistline and the bust line haven't already been drawn to the center front this is our cf like i told you the other time i said this was the top top line okay so we've already taken our waist our waistline our hip line and our bust line to the front it's now left for us to fix in our front neck line our front shoulder line and the chest line okay so to get your neckline for the front bodice block from your from the center front from your top line on the center front line we'll be marking four four centimeter for this size okay it's a big size so we'll be doing four point four centimeter but if you are doing a small size you'll be doing you'll be marking 4.5 for the neckline okay so i'll come here and i'll mark four centimeter okay okay this one now is for the shoulder line i'll now rule it four centimeter for your shoulder line 4.5 for smaller sizes but for bigger sizes you do four centimeter okay so now to get the neckline you know our neckline is usually after our shoulder line the front neckline comes after the shoulder line but the back neckline comes before your shoulder line so for a big size of this like this this type we are doing the neckline we use for big bigger sizes you do 8 to 8.5 while for smaller sizes you do 7 to 7.5 okay so we'll be doing our 7 uh, 8.5 for this big for this size for a boss 112 so I just come randomly and I do 7.5 and I rule for the neckline a 10 to 12 centimeter line Eight point five. So okay, let me let me go back again. This is eight point five. Yes, that's it. So like I said, for a bigger size you do eight to eight point five for the neckline. Why for a smaller size you do seven to seven point five? Okay, to get your front neckline okay so this is our front shoulder line which always comes before the front neckline like i told you before to get your shoulder line smaller sizes you do 4.5 bigger size you do four okay so now for us to get our front mp like we got our back mp we'll make use of our back neck width which was 8.5 and remember we got it from this chart i showed you everything when we're doing the back bodice block so we'll be taking the 8.5 that we use to get our back neckline so now we'll take it and include it in the front neckline so now on your top line in front you measure and mark 7.5 like we did at the back okay on your top line then you come to your neckline you measure and mark the same 7.5 and you roll this vertical construction line like so so now we have our front neck point, that's our NP, okay? So to get our front neckline, we'll be taking this curve through a four centimeter point. At the back, we did three centimeter, okay? But for this size, boss one one two will be doing four. So if you are doing the smaller size, you'll be using 3.5 centimeter. So with our arm or curve, I will now go through the four centimeter like so and connect it to the NP. So there we have our front neckline, okay? So we now have to fix in our front, our chest line. You know, at the back, we did the back line. So now we'll be doing our chest line. And the chest line is usually four centimeter above the bust line, okay? Four centimeter above, let me write it, this is your bust line. 
So your chest line is um, four centimeter above your bust line. So I'll do this. I'll come here now. I'll do the same for, and I'll roll this horizontal line to get a, a chest line. Like so. Okay. So this is our chest line. Chest line. And like I said, I'll put an arrow here to indicate how we got to this force here from here to this point. Okay. So on our shoulder line, I'll be marking a 16.5 centimeter point. It's fixed for all sizes. Okay, because if the, the slanted shoulder will be taken through this point. So from here, from our CF in, I'll be marking a 16.5 centimeter point. It's fixed for all sizes. So whenever you are doing your front, you just know that on your shoulder line, you'll be marking this 16.5 centimeter line point. Okay. So now on your bust on your bust on your bust line, okay, we'll measure and mark quarter chest measurement. Okay, and our quarter chest is 10.5 because when we took the measurement I showed you in the previous video, the chest the chest measurement chest width was 42 and the half 21, so the quarter is 10.5. Okay, so now on the bust line, I'll measure from CF. 10.5 10.5 like so okay i'll be ruling a vertical construction line that's a parallel line to to the center front so i need another point here so i'll come here and measure and mark the same 10.5 so i can rule a line like this okay but before i construct this vertical line i need to go down two centimeter from our bust line, that's I go two centimeter below the bust line from here. From here, this is our bust line. I'll go to CM. I mark it. And I told you we'll be we use, we'll be using a Natalie Brace textbook, right? So we are just following the direct instruction from the Natalie Brace textbook. So I'm ruling it now like this. Okay. So from this point on our show on, on our NP. I'll, rule, I'll be ruling a 20 to 22 centimeter line, taking it through the 16.5 mark that I did. Okay, placing the ruler at your NP, I'm going like so. I'll be doing 22 to be safe. I don't want to stop at 20. Okay, so from here, I'm doing 22. It's fixed. Okay. So now, on this line, I'll be taking a 2 centimeter point, like so, from here. I'll mark 2 cm. Now I want to get our dart. Okay, and I showed you how to get your dart from the textbook. So when you are doing it, make sure you have a Natalie Bray textbook. Okay, so I'll connect these two now to this 2 cm below your below the bust line. And I'll really like this. And the dart size we got from the chart for a bust 112 is 10 cm. So I will now come from this last point that we got. I'll measure and mark 10 cm for our dart. The dart size for a bust 112 is 10. So I'll now connect it back to this 2 cm below your bust point. Like this. Okay. So we're fixing our dart. Okay. So now, for me to get the final shoulder, that's our front SP, like we've got our back SP here. So for me to get the front SP, I'll be doing shoulder plus the, sh the body measurement, that's the shoulder measurement you took from the body, plus the dart size. And the shoulder measurement we got is 12 centimeter plus a dart, that's 22 centimeter, the dart is 10. And the shoulder measurement we took from the, from the body is 12. So from the NP now, 12 plus 10 is 22. So this is our final shoulder, SP, that's our shoulder point. You know, for some, their shoulder might be 11 and their dart might be 7. So if you put it together, you'll be having 18. So by the time they place it on the NP, on this line, their 18 will be here. But because we are doing a bigger size, everything now rounded up to be 22. That's a shoulder 12, uh, 
at that same okay but it doesn't matter smaller sizes can be 17 can be 18 and and any other but it shouldn't go beyond 22 it shouldn't be more than 22 but it can be less than 22 okay so now on our chest line okay we'll be measuring for the center front we'll be doing our half chest measurement and the half chest is 21 centimeter now the beauty of this of what we do is on this chest line we want to measure the 20 21 centimeter we place the ruler like so or your tape okay then you do from cf to this inner line where your dart starts from okay let me use a tape from so you understand it properly so from your center front like this We'll be missing out this dart on your on the chest level. We'll be measuring this point. We'll be measuring from this line to this line. So we are doing 21. So look at it. I'll start from the center front to this line. I'll mark it on the tip. Look at it, this line. Now I will skip from this point to the outer dart leg. I'll skip from this outer one to this one. Now just take this point now. I continue like this. You see it? Then I'll measure and mark the 21. Do you understand it? I believe you understand it. So let me show you again 21. We'll measure from here. Stopping at this dark leg, this one. Skipping this one. Coming to this next one like this. And we're marking 21. Okay. So now, I'll now connect your the SP to our new chest point like this so this is our chp our chest point okay now i will drop a short perpendicular line to the bust line like this from this chest point just drop another one like so okay then on our bust line we'll be doing our out bust measurement plus five minus minus this back this the, minus what we have here at the back bust line okay you do your up bust plus five minus the width already acquired here on the bust line so from the cb line coming towards our back up we have 30 and our bust is 112 half of the bus 112 is um is 56 okay so we'll be doing uh, we'll be doing 56 plus 5 minus 30 okay so 56 plus 5 is 61 minus 30 that's 31 do you understand it our bus on the bus line in front you'll be doing your our bus plus 5 and the bus is 112 half of it is 56 so you'll be doing 56 plus 5 minus like i said the back width already achieved here which is 30 so we, we are now left with 56 plus 5 is 61 minus 30 we have 31 so from the bust on the from the cf i'll measure and mark 31 like this so this gives us our front up like we have our back up okay now to get our front arm oh, you know for the back we did three centimeters for the front, we'll be doing a 1.5 centimeter. It is fixed, okay? 1.5 from this angle, this angle formed by this perpendicular line. So we'll be doing a 1.5 centimeter line like this. Okay. Then on this line, we'll be getting the middle of it. This is 15, 15.5. So 15 half of 15 is 7.5 so half of 15.5 is 7.25 i'll measure and mark it like this okay now i'll be taking this point i'll rule a one centimeter line from here it's fixed okay like this this one is 1.5 1.5 why this is one c so we can now rule up our front ample so from this point now, placing this ruler like this, you pivot it until you get a smooth, smooth, smooth curve. 
So I'll go like this. Then I'll go like this. Okay. Now, from this point, I'll rule it through this point. Like this. Like so. Through this 1.5. But the front arm hole deepens below the bust line. Unlike the back arm hole that stays on the bust line. It's above. It's on it. The front comes a little bit below the bust line. Look at the back bust line. Back arm, you arm oh the arm side. Look at it. It's on the line, okay. But the front dips a little below the bust line. Do you understand it? You will as time goes on, okay. So like that. So on our hip line, like we did the back, we did a the quarter hip measurement is twenty nine because the full hip is one one six. So from your center front, we'll, be, we'll measure and mark at 29, like that. Then you connect, this is our front HP, back HP. Then we'll connect it to our front UP. You connect your HP to the front UP, like that. Okay. So, you know at the back we took we went in two centimeter from your side so for the front you'll be doing a 1.5 centimeter from here we do 1.5 like this we now use our ruler to, to rule out the side seam of the pattern like that then we turn flip the ruler the other way to get a recovery of the Whenever you are doing this, make sure it doesn't overlap this, your line, it doesn't come out of it, okay? Okay, so, now, to get our final shoulder, to get our final shoulder, take out this, and I'll be folding on this line, this is our shoulder line, you know, at, at that line, you know, the, that starts from here, not this line, it starts from here, the 10 centimeters starts from this inner line to this point. So I'll be all folding on the inner line like this to get the final shoulder like so. And I'll be placing it on on this outer line. Now, I'll fold this line on this one. Okay? This line comes to this. So I'll be folding it like this. Like so, then with our tracing wheel, I'll trace out this line. So you make sure you get the tracing wheel, okay? Because it's very important in doing your body's block, especially the front. Okay, so I cannot take my ruler and complete the front shoulder. From this point now, I will need to meet at your front SP. Okay, so if you if if you if you do your pattern accurately and correctly, when you folded your your darts, close it like so. From your end pin now to your SP, you will get your exact shoulder. I told you we will we'll be using twelve centimeter, right? So now with it folded like so, from this end pin to your SP is twelve centimeter. You get the accurate one, or maybe you can just have like zero point five, you know. Or more 0 0.5 but if it is done properly you have your exact shoulder length 12 okay so now I open it up and I'll just finish up our final shoulder I roll the points that came out from the tracing like this okay so how we got it is we took this line we folded it on this outer line like this. And with the tracing wheel, we trace this line that was showing. So it can appear underneath and we opened it. When it was on this, when it was in this position, I took the ruler and I completed the shoulder line. Okay? I did it like this and I connected it from this point to this point. Then I opened it up and I rolled that in. 
marks that came out from the tracing. Okay, so, so guys, this is your front bodice block. We are done with it, okay? As it is now, you are done with your front bodice block. It's unshaped, okay? So, but as the block is now, you can cut it out and make a free blouse or you extend it to make a free dress. But in my next video, I'll be showing you how to shape in your body's block so it fits perfectly to your body. Okay, but right now we're done with the front body's block. So this is the front and this is the back, okay? So, I'll see you guys in the next video. But remember to subscribe, turn on your notification, like the video, okay? You can even share it if you please, okay? I want it thumbs up. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.